Hey, good evening again. I'm just out putting around. Been trying to make a video on, uh, you know, wheelieing techniques and things like that. And I'm just having a hard time finding the right, right spot to uh, to show off, to show, you know, these techniques. It's, it's best to, uh, you know, have an uphill area to practice in. Um, where you can uh, get the front end light easier and uh, I, you know it's it's just hard to find the right parking lot here's a little <clears throat> little log hop there telephone pole was I in second gear I think I was in second gear we'll just do that one again I know you're gonna want me to go down the further down the there we go we're gonna want me to go further down the log but uh, we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to stick with this end of the log here. What was that fluid on the log right there? Did I do a burnout on this or did I start leaking oil or coolant? Is that just my tire? I think I did a burnout on the log. Oh yeah, that's what's happening, I think. Smoking the tire on the log. That's okay. Do a burnout on the log. Um... Anyway, first gear, roll up, smack it with your front tire right off the bottom so that both tires hit it and the log becomes a uh, kicker to uh, put your front tire up so you clear the uh, skid plate and uh, Bob's your uncle. Uh, so there's log crossing on the uh, CRF 300L Rally. Clack. Pretty easy stuff. Um, it's intimidating the first time though, isn't it? Come up to this log, and especially on your brand new bike. No skid plate on it. To be mashing over this thing that's taller than your, uh, taller than your ground clearance. But there it is, over and over and over again. Uh, beautiful fun stuff it's good to practice to have somewhere to practice looks like they've tried to make it more difficult to get uh, over there but there's just a little putt around spot over here we'll check out um, it's a you know just a field I don't know there's a old barbecue pit out here um, I've never seen any people out here they they mow the edge right here and there's kind of a little, you know, hill climb right there in the middle. Um, it's not mowed and it's hot out, so I'm not going to go through any tall grass for fear of starting a forest fire. But, uh, yeah, they, they haven't mowed any of this. But, you know, you'll find little places like this around your house as soon as you start looking. And, uh, you know, just put through, check it out. It's pretty beautiful sometimes, yeah. you get a little frisky and do a little more than putt but uh, you know this thing's a silent assassin um, back to first gear rock pile there's some cool you know little stuff you can mess around on in here another little hey, obstacles here's a little 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 deal there you know watch some of those Graham Jarvis videos he'll tell you how to ride better than I can but uh, what he has a trouble with sometimes is uh, speaking the, uh, the technique because he's been doing it so long that it's ingrained muscle memory and it's hard for him to tell you what he's doing with the body English and, and all of that. So I'll try to tell you what Graham Jarvis does and uh, show you what I do at the same time because uh, I don't think I can uh, show you how Graham does it. This guy's a baller. Um, cover the rear brakes real important when you're doing wheelies um, because of the uh, you know it'll, it'll save your ass and bring the front end right back to the ground so when you're done wheelieing you smack that rear brake or bring put a little pressure on it you'll feel the front end come down just get used to that um, and uh, you know Practice covering the rear brake, using the rear brake to set the front tire back down. 
um, have a, a little uphill start off on a little uphill gradient helps a lot with uh, with wheeling and then also using the terrain features little dips and bumps um, you know if you can load up your suspension and then give it some gas while it's rebounding like that I'm just bouncing my feet there's a wheelie there's a wheelie you know second gear power wheelies just using the suspension bounce catching that rebound at the right time and you'll get a feel for it it ain't uh, it ain't rocket science um, but it takes practice and uh, you know you might be doing this on a $500 bike or your friend's bike or a $20,000 bike so you know getting the uh, courage up to do it the first time makes it uh, is the difficult part and uh, so I just say get out of your comfort zone when you're doing this stuff and uh, practice find a spot where you can hit the same little bump and use it as a kicker over and over again and get the feeling for it and cover the rear brake and use a little more throttle or or just dip the clutch at the top and and just rev it and you know just a little clutch dump like that a couple thousand rpms you'll get the timing of it and uh and and then you'll you'll pretty soon you'll be wheeling like a champ so uh, there's not really any wheeling type obstacles out here but there are some enough little bumps and stuff that you know you just feel the suspension come down uh, into a low spot and compress a little bit or you see it coming and you just whoop, off the top of it second gear here's something right here just a little bit of throttle and a little bit of suspension bouncing back up and you'll get a wheelie going you can uh, well right now you can maybe sit back a little on the whoa on the uh, it's easier when you're going faster this uh going slow i keep uh you know especially with full air pressure in the back tire uh i keep coming off of the wheelie and uh um what am i trying to say oh i keep coming off because the back tire is so round i keep coming up and i'm not going straight you know and it starts rolling to the side because of the uh roundedness of the top tires um so the profile of the tires gets you whacked so i you know second gear you're safer first gear can come up too fast and uh you can end up on your back but here we are 13 miles an hour second gear just a little whoop maybe you can see the shadow how far, far the front end's coming up but there's second gear right off of idle you know 12 13 miles an hour and uh if you got your weight on the bike it makes it harder so standing up a little suspension bounce and you can tug the handlebars right up to you um, yeah so hopefully you enjoyed that a little log crossing a little bit of wheelies a little field rip you know just use those terrain features when you feel it um, your suspension will suck it up most of the time but if you well, give it some yeah. tires getting there then your back tire is going to bring your front tire up into the air and you know it, it the back tire is probably going to jump you know or could jump and you know the difference between a wheelie and a jump is you know five miles an hour probably so we'll go check that out at our next stop and uh there's a there's those big uh pedestrian raised pedestrian crossings i'm working my way to that uh you know uh, are a good kicker for practicing wheelies and they're also kind of like those big speed mounds speed humps those are good kickers for practicing wheelies but you go a few miles an hour faster and you do a little bit of a uh, compressive suspension with your legs first and they become jumps so uh, you know just use use that stuff to your advantage you know when you're off-road there's a lot more especially whoops and stuff there's a lot more things that you can use as a kicker and around town what you're going to be looking at is little crests in the middle of the intersection where you know they have the road crowned 
and you can jump right off that road crown or, or use it to make the front end light because the road's dropping away under your front tire so you just give a little bounce as you get there give a little tug and give a little gas and um, the front end comes right up so terrain features and uh, you know little ramps that uh, go into parking lots where you know the, the ramp goes up off the street and then as soon as it gets to the top it's straight back down into a parking lot um, you know those are a nice spot to just get a tiny bit of air on your way in and practice feeling what that bike feels coming off the ground and landing again and you know try to do all these tricks that uh, you know when you're starting do everything perpendicular uh, crossing curbs uh, crossing logs if you can be perpendicular that's ideal because um, then your bike's not going to shoot sideways on you or you're not going to like you know if you're trying to jump up a curb going right along it like this and you miss uh, you know the momentum of your bike is going to go over the curb and your front tires not and you're going to end up dumping the bike hard I learned that the hard way I was just putting barely moving on a trail and they had like logs along the edge and I was just messing around looking at something or whatever and I rode over the logs and my tires were next to the logs and I just trying to turn my tire a little bit to try to climb back up that log and I didn't make it so learn from your mistakes and practice on uh, obstacles in a controlled setting talk to you later